In this tutorial, I'm going to show you six options, timeline infographic template in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. You can see here I've added a kind of a pipe there. And when I click from right to left, it will show you the first option, which is for 2015. And then 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Likewise, I have created some more slide with the same design but different background uh, which is a darker background dark back background of the slide and then one more with the shadow effect so let's see how to create this six options timeline infographic slide in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes under block arrows, select arrow pentagon, draw the arrow and rotate to right 90 degrees. Height, you can make it as 1.85 and width, make it 3.2 and shape outline, make it no outline and if you want, you can change the color also. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate change the color to some lighter colors reduce the size and put it in the center something like this then you can select this and give a different color so select the gray arrow right mouse click go to format shape under fill select gradient fill I'm going to remove two stops I'm going to make it only two first gradient stop go to more colors let me just select some purple color and some other one more color maybe a pink so it comes something like this here this you can make it as a white if you want you can further reduce the size and select both of these objects just say align center align middle i'm going to change the background color to somewhat light gray select both of these objects and press ctrl g to group it then i'm going to insert i'm going to draw a rectangle draw the rectangle from one end to other end bring it down shape outline make it no outline and this also you can give a gradient fill but i'm going to give a different color to it first let me just select some gray color or from here i can just select it some dark gray color i'm going to add one more stop where i'm going to use some light colors and here some more dark color here you can see here it looks like a 3d shape now so let me just align this to center and then I'm going to insert one more arrow pentagon for example I'll just select this control C and control V reduce the size and put it exactly here let me just increase the size a little bit and I'm going to give some shadow effect just zoom in let me just increase the size format align center then I'm going to insert one more rectangle which goes from this to this shape outline no outline and you can give any one color of this and just say send to back and then here i'm going to give some more objects just go to shapes select this one which is rectangle top corners rounded make it fully rounded shape outline make it no outline and give some dark colors to it and put it exactly here 
reduce the size and then send to back you can see here let me just zoom it more like this you need to make it and the other side also press ctrl d put it the other side format send to back you can reduce the size this also let me just reduce the size so you can see here our design is almost ready here and then I'm going to insert text box I'm going to type 01 make it bold century gothic center align and color to be white and put it exactly in the center of this century gothic and then here you can add the title and the text so let me just add some text here and put it exactly in the center and reduce the size so put it in the center center aligned so you can see here uh, one design is ready so I'm going to select all you can use the mouse and just hold the key the left mouse key and drag it so it will select all the objects and press ctrl G to group it and move the side of the slide then press ctrl D to duplicate put it here again D control D 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so you can see here I have created 6 options let me just change the color so and if you like to change the background color also you can change that one now I'm going to give the animation effect for that go to animations animation pane select this one and say fly in fly in instead of from bottom I'm going to select from right so it comes like this and double click make some bounce effect and say ok so it comes something like this and let me just give the timing as fast instead of very fast and then I'm going to select this and I'm going to copy the animation effect to other options for that select the object which you have just added the animation double click the animation painter and click on this you can see here then I'm going to click on this third option then the fourth option fifth option and sixth option and press escape key now if i play it will come like this first second third fourth fifth and sixth and if you like to add the shadow effect which i have added onto this slide you can just add it there or if you want to give some darker shades also you can add the darker shades and give the reflection effect That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.